howdy doodly YouTube. I hope everybody's quarantining is going very well. I hope you are staying safe. You're getting out, you're being very cautious and uh, aware of your surroundings on what you touch, what you do, people you come in contact with, all that good stuff. Hopefully this will be over eventually, but I believe COVID is here to stay and there's really nothing we can do about it other than be smart. I am headed to the skate park, not to skate, but I am going to do some aerial photography. I've been doing this to pretty much all of the Georgia skate parks that is pretty close to the Atlanta metro area. Also where I can fly a drone over at the skate park at Kennesaw. You cannot fly a drone via the airspace restrictions. There's an airport really, really close. And that kind of screws up my plan, but I'm sure you could do it with a cheap drone that doesn't have, that's not DJI, that doesn't have all the airspace requirements or restrictions, I should say. Back when I was a youngin, when I was a little, little baby, really when I was 13, I used to skateboard every day, all day. Like any ignorant 13, 14 year old who skated at the time, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do this the rest of my life. And as I got older and matured, I was like, man, this sucks. I'll never make it. But I enjoyed doing it. I enjoyed having a ton of fun with it. I had fun every time I was on my board. I learned something every time I was on my board. And it taught me how to progress. It taught me patience. It taught me persistence. It taught me dedication. I stuck with it. And granted, when I got out of high school, I got into other hobbies like racing cars, AKA drifting. Then I got into motorcycles. And then now I just have a bunch of different toys. I've got a BMX bike, I've got a mountain bike. I've got this bike, I'm a Z125. I had a dirt bike at some point. Had a pit bike at some point. I've really gotten back into skateboarding. One of the main reasons is it's a great way to stay active. I used to skate the X Games, Woodward, Black Diamond, whatever you want to call it, down in Lawrenceville. The indoor skate park back in the day and I, I skated the vert ramp there and I loved it I was terrified of it but loved skating that it took me forever to drop in it once I dropped in it I could carve it and kick turn it cruise it I could never do any tricks on it I could do a little front side air below the coping but that was about it but something about it just kept drawing me to it I don't know what it was I don't know if it was the fact that it was the biggest thing there and I wanted to skate it or the fact that you could if you're good and you really stick to it you know you get that sense of weightlessness and flying if you're able to air out and stuff like that i was just too scared to do it just a big mental game and that was one thing too dropping in a 12 foot ramp with two feet of vert it's scary it's scary you know you get up there and you're like man i have to drop down this like you're literally dropping on a vert ramp i know when you drop in on a mini ramp you drop in but like you drop down into the transition on a vert ramp which is just physics it's mind-blowing i mean it's just such a simple a simple little motion but it's it to me i appreciate it so much and i respect the discipline there's a bunch of cement outdoor parks in georgia around the metro area and i've skated a lot of them through the grapevine i found out gainesville georgia is getting a skate park and they are so close to completion it was supposed to already be done but weather has been a huge setback this coronavirus has been kind of a weird setback even though construction employees are considered essential it's definitely threw a wrench into a bunch of things and the park like the skate park is done they're just adding the restroom parking lot benches the fences and stuff like that with all that being said i've got all these different hobbies and interests and things like that i'm not saying I've done a great job at keeping up the channel. I wish I had been doing better and I want to do better. And you know, I've, I've really sat down and thought about a bunch of things and I almost want to restart or refresh the channel. And one of those things is branding, right? And I've always, when I first started doing YouTube, I thought I want a brand, like I want a name, a name brand, right? That people, you know, you could say it or hear it and you're like, oh, you know what that is. Like companies like Under Armour, Adidas, New Balance, they all have that one word branding to it. And that's what I want to do with with my channel. And I've struggled. I really don't know what I want to do. When I started, I wanted it to be a faith-based, faith-oriented channel. Really to spread positivity and encouragement into the internet really you know the internet it can be a nasty place or it can be a really really informative really 
great place to go. I just wanted to, to take a little bit of positivity and put it out there. If you've seen my most recent, most updated logo, it's FR Johnny, right? And for short, I'll do FRJ on certain things. My question to you guys, I know I'm not gonna have all the input in the world, unfortunately, but I need to know if I should change it at all from Faith Ryan Johnny, if I should change it to something like initial wise, like FRJ, or if I should do FR Johnny. The foundation that this channel is built on will not change, but when I do other videos, when I get into other things and I do daily vlogs or stuff like this, like I'm going skating or something like that, or if I go mountain biking, you know, it's gonna be an all-inclusive channel, I guess. Obviously motorcycles and, and riding and things like that are gonna be the same. Obviously I'm still the same person I am in the beginning. I want it to be a little more catchy. I want to simplify it, yet keep the same the same thing. So let me know your thoughts below. I, I know I talked in one of my last videos about wanting to change some things up about what I want to do differently. And this is one of those. With this being mainly a motorsports channel, would you be interested in my life, daily things, daily activities? So that's my thoughts on that. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and we'll discuss it. I'm curious to know what what, uh, what, what all you guys and gals think about it myself. With moving on from that, I also had this, this interesting thought with spreading positive messages and stuff like that. I want to keep them short and simple. And maybe I take a particular verse or chapter and I break it down. I kind of want to do it like how I did my quarantine video or a COVID video, but it ended up being like a 15 minute video. And I don't know about you, but that is way too long for me it had a gr lot of great little info in it but i'm like wow that is way too long so let me know what you think about length of videos if you guys have any video requests if you guys have any questions about maybe a particular verse in the bible maybe you want me to break down your favorite bible verse maybe there's a story you want me to explain or maybe there's a story you want me to give my interpretation of i would be more than happy to do that it helps me dive and dissect into the word into the scripture and really really break it down might help you out with with you know giving you a different mindset on thinking about that particular verse with the whole COVID-19 pandemic a lot of dealerships are closed or they're only doing curbside a lot of the public events or activities are canceled gatherings are canceled so that really just kind of throws this weird wrench into what I can and can't do. Like it's really easy for me to go over to Northeast Georgia Motorsports, pick up a bike and do a, a video on it. Now I'm having to think outside the box a little bit. And to me, I don't want it to be a stale repetitive channel of me just on this bike talking, being boring and stuff like that. You know, I want, I want to keep your attention span. I want to I wanna give you a good laugh, but let's get on over to the skate park, fly the drone a little bit, get some photos, and we'll get back on the road here shortly. Parked in the shade, keep the bike nice and cool, that black seat, but look at this. This is Duncan Creek, and it is completely empty. Granted, it's a Monday, it's 2.56, almost 3 o'clock, but let me walk over here and show you guys what I'm talking about. What gets me, what blows my mind is this caution tape stops here. I mean, obviously you could go under it, I guess, kind of like, you know, whoop. so, but you know, you go, you can go around it. I don't get it. I mean, I guess it's just a visual marker, but let me know how uh, COVID-19 has affected you and in your area. I'm very curious to know. George is a little bit, I guess, uh, not as strict. I know California, New York, they are super, super strict. So let's see what this sign says. Gwinnett County, blah, blah, blah. Failure to comply with any order, rule, or regulation affected by the chairman upon or after a declaration of an emergency constitutes to a misdemeanor violation punishable by fine up to $1,000 or and or imprisonment up to 60 days. Jeez. Well, I guess that makes complete sense why nobody's here. I wouldn't want to get a ticket. I don't have $1,000, nor can I afford getting a misdemeanor on my record. What that means for me is I can fly the drone and get some pretty clean shots without having anybody in it. It'll be nice and empty, obviously, so pictures will be perfect. I won't have to worry about no one going, oh. so which that'll be nice. So let's just go ahead and hop in and start filming the, uh, the park.
this one's kind of weird. The uh, the color's kind of off, but uh, that's one battery down. We're gonna do one more, and, uh, and we'll see see what else we can do. What's really crazy, and what I can't understand, I'm gonna fly a little closer now that I've, now that I've got some battery, is I think they've stopped up the drain, so when it rains, it won't drain. Which it's been sunny, you know. Not all the other pools are are, uh, are stuck or full of water. So we're going to we're gonna fly pretty pretty low and see if we can't see what exactly they've done. Oh, that's a good shot. So right here, there normally wouldn't be any water, but this thing is slap full. So it looks like, oh, it's mulch. That's what it is. I don't know what that is in the drain, but my drone is moving the water, that's for sure. You can see where the water is, and where the water has been. So it's evaporated up a little bit, but this is just ridiculous. See if we can't get this thing to fly up pretty close. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, well, hope you enjoyed a little bit of uh, aerial videography there of uh, of Duncan Creek Skate Park with no one able to skate it to get a misdemeanor and go to prison, and that's just nuts. One more thing before I let you guys go is just pretty much a, a verse of the day or a word of the day or week for me, I should say, or for you guys. Proverbs chapter 7, verse 4. And it says, love wisdom like a sister, make insight a beloved member of your family. And to me, that is just so very important because especially with what we've got going on right now with coronavirus and stuff like that, you need to have wisdom and insight on your side. You need to be, I've said it a hundred times, you need to just be smart about this whole thing. And to me, it's just important to, to approach everything with a level head. Do your research and you'll find out things aren't as bad as what they seem to be. Don't sweat it too much. Don't get up into a big uproar or panic about what's going on. It's really better than, than what it seems to be. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it very much. And we'll see you guys on the next one.